Well, here we are. We know our matchup for Super Bowl 56. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let, let, let's talk about these matchups first before we get there. Bengals Chiefs, the AFC Championship game. You know, it was a tale of two halves. Uh, really, this it was looking kind of it was looking kind of bad, looking kind of bad for the Bengals at first. I mean, Patrick Mahomes and company were firing on all cylinders at the start of this game. Like, I mean, Kelsey got a touchdown, Tariq Hill got a touchdown, Nicole Hartman got a touchdown, and the Bengals just could never get anything going on offense early in the in the first half. I mean, Joe Burrow and company, I mean, they couldn't do anything. We're talking, Jamar Chase had only like eight yards at one point. That's how bad it was. The O-line was getting roughed up a little bit. You know, Burrow and company got sacked too as well. I mean, things were just not looking good out there. But then the second half came. Then the second half came, and Burrow and company got right up and said, hey, we got some business to finish. We going. <laughs> we going at Super Bowl. And that's exactly what the Bengals said they were going to do. And they did it. They held the Chiefs only three points in the second half. They picked off Mahomes twice. I mean, the Burrow the Chase connection is always, you know, it's always there. It's always there. You, you cannot discredit that. It's there. It's always there. And that's exactly, you know, what the Bengals did. They, there were some critical moments here that the Chiefs, they really should have took of the points at the end of the first half, you know, like there was a period at the end of the first half, you know, which Chiefs had the ball, they were driving, and they just decided to do a backwards type pass that didn't go anywhere, and it ended up losing them yardage when they should have just took the three, you know, because it was a penalty, and, and there were strangely not very many penalties in this game, you know, but, but I mean, it is what it is, so. You know, breaking this game down is just like this. It's a tale of two halves. It's really that's really what it came down to. And just so you know, the Bengals they didn't win the coin toss in OT, but Patrick Mahomes got picked off, so that's why, you know, the Bengals were able to get the ball back. They were able to drive down the field. They were able to kick the game winning field goal thanks to Evan McPherson and the Bengals. Oh the Bengals. You're going back to your first Super Bowl since the late eighties. Oh boy, now that, that is crazy, and I mean, in three, in a, in a span of three years, we could be seeing Joe Burrow host up the Lombardi Trophy, that's, that's an insane statistic for me, I mean, that, that's like, wow, that's crazy, that's crazy, Chiefs, unfortunately, you know, again, they, they got too cute at times, they, they, they got too cute again, it, it was the same problems that played them early in the season, that, you know, continue to play them, you know, that, you know, they, I mean, I, I did say, you know, Saturday that, you know, hey, this Chiefs defense has gotten a lot better. I mean, you know, Tyron Matthew and company did, and, you know, they, they played, but I mean, it just wasn't good enough in the second half, and it's a, ta it's a tale of two Chiefs teams. That's probably why, you know, you, you see the Chiefs that look dominant, that look the part they're supposed to look, and then you see the Chiefs team that, you know, has been giving up all these points, you know, especially last week and this week too, you know. Uh, obviously last week was pretty bad. But, I mean, he, that, that, the Chiefs, the first two months of the season, oh my goodness, that Chiefs team was just not there. And this is what the Chiefs turned into in the second half. Again, just getting too cute, trying to do too much. when You need to just do enough, you know, do enough. And, unfortunately, for Patrick Mahomes, he will not be going. To his third straight Super Bowl. Andy Reid will not be going to his third straight Super Bowl. It will be Zach Taylor, Joe Burrow, and the Cincinnati Bengals heading on up to LA. So that's gonna be that, that, that that's gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how you know how how that's gonna go for the Bengals, you know, the atmosphere of the Super Bowl. Because again, this team hasn't been to the Super Bowl in over 30 years, so we'll see how it goes. And on the other side of things. This team was just in the Super Bowl three years ago, but now they have a different quarterback, and, it, and its name is the Los Angeles Rams. Yes, led by who? Matthew Stafford. 
Sean McVay and company were able to get past Mike Shanahan and the 49ers in a game that, you know, was ugly. I mean, this game was real ugly for the most part. I mean, you got Jimmy Garoppolo struggling. I mean, what can, what can you say that hasn't already been said? I, I did say Jimmy Garoppolo was going to be the X factor here in this game. You know, what kind of Jimmy G were we going to get? And he, and he proved in the second, he proved in the second, third quarters, hey, this guy actually can be a pretty damn good quarterback. It's just, you know, but it, it's just the inconsistencies. Again, you know, the O-line, they could, they could never, you know, they, they, there were times in this game where it felt like, you know, the 49ers had this game pretty comfortably wrapped up. It felt like that at times. But then, you know, the 49ers offense comes right back out on the field. And guess who? Aaron Donald. Guess who? He's him and the, him and the boys on the defense. They were right there. They were right there to stuff Jimmy G and company in their tracks. I mean, Debo Samuel did, you know, damn good again. I mean, everybody was eating. Everybody was eating on the 49ers receiving core. But unfortunately, you know, the stat line, you know, it it's deceptive because you think everybody was eating, but they really weren't. You know, Jimmy G was only 16 of 30 in what many believe will be his final game in San Francisco. Who knows where he's going to go, you know, next season. But, you know, 49ers ended up, you know, they just ended up giving up too much to Cooper Cup and company in the end, especially Cooper Cup. My goodness, man. My goodness. He had another 11 catches for 142 and two TDs. I mean, this man, him and Odell. Odell also had over 100 yards. I mean, 20 of the 31 completions Matthew Stafford had were to these two guys. And again, I mean, the 40 yards defense, you know, front seven was able to get to Stafford at times. The front seven even helped force a pick on Stafford. And one of, again, just an inexplicable throw by Stafford. And this was very early on. Like, the Rams were about to go up 7 to nothing, And then, you know, Stafford just throws the pick. And it was awful. What an awful pick. You know, that, that's the type of stuff that, that needs to be cleaned up, you know. But other than that, the Rams, they, they did what they needed to do in this game, which was get the ball to their playmakers, you know. The four Dottie's got the ball to their playmakers too, but ultimately, you know, the, the Rams just did more. The Rams did more, and there was so many drops in this game, dropped interceptions, dropped passes, you know, passes that should have been caught by both teams. I mean, there was a case of dropsies in this one. I mean, that, that too was a thing that affected this game. At the Rams, they get to stay home in L.A. to host the Super Bowl. You got the second straight year that a team in the Super Bowl will play at their home stadium, which is crazy, but this time, it, technically, the Rams will host. So, that is going to be fun. This is the Super Bowl. The Los Angeles Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals. May the best team win, man. May the best team win. But oh no, you, 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 oh no, you, you, you're probably wondering. Wait, are you picking now? Who you're going to? You know, are you picking the team you want to win the Super Bowl now? No, not yet. I'm gonna wait two weeks, just like the rest of y'all. We're gonna we're gonna come back here in about a week and a half or so. And we'll talk the Super Bowl. We'll preview the Super Bowl. We'll do all. We'll do an actual prediction, you know. Because I mean, I haven't. Really, despite the title of these videos, you know, there's really no actual predictions in these videos, like score predictions. We're talking other predictions when I say predictions. But in any case, congratulations to the Los Angeles Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals. You both deserve it. And let's have a good Super Bowl 56, everybody. I'll see you very soon because we got some college basketball to talk about here in just a few moments. So we'll get this up, get the college basketball video up, and we'll have a good week, you know, and everything. So take care, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the conference championships just like I did. The insanity of the NFL season has just one game left in 2021-2022. For the time being, my goodness, man. Whew. Good night, everybody.